Are you ready? <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Kern and welcome back to Octane Streets Road here on YouTube that never ends. And today is either going to be a really interesting day or a day that's pretty much a waste of time. If you guys have seen my last video uploaded on the channel, then you guys will know that not only is my 2014 Hyundai Veloster Turbo my very first car, but I actually kind of regret the decision in buying this vehicle. And so today I'm going to be taking the first and biggest step in trying to correct that mistake before I run out of time and it's too late to correct. And by that I mean I'm actually going to be trying to sell this vehicle and a dealership actually showed interest in buying my car and I'm going to be heading over there very shortly to kind of get it appraised by them and if the numbers are fine we're going to shake hands and make a deal today. So it's either again it's either going to be really interesting or it's going to be a complete waste of time. Now before I get into the details of what car I'm going to be buying after I sell this car I'm going to save that for another video. I kind of want to take it step by step. Some of you guys if you guys are paying attention to the channel might, al might already actually know which car I'm going to be looking at or already am looking at but I'm gonna save that for later and try and work on selling this I already listed a couple of ads on you know some local classifieds so we're gonna see if I get any hits on those but in the meantime me and my wife are actually gonna clean out my car and kind of prep it for sale because again if the numbers are good we're gonna be walking out with a check and having to uber it home so that's best case scenario but as we know with dealerships they could kind of lowball you so I'm not expecting to get the number that I want but at the same time, I think there's a possibility and that there's a chance. So before I get anything done, I'm going to kind of show you guys some of the damage that my car has. Um, and then I'm going to kind of talk about the numbers and uh, what, my, what, I think my, or what I believe my car is worth as well as what I'm hoping to get as a minimum from the dealership. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these damages. <laughs> So there are a few minor cosmetic damages done to the vehicle. Everything mechanically is sound though. It's all working perfectly. I recently changed the brakes, did an oil change, all that stuff. You guys have seen it here on the channel. So even with these uh, cosmetic damages, I believe my car is worth around $12,000 $11, to $12,000 Canadian. And with that being said, I'm listing it for about 10,500 in hopes of a pretty quick and fair sale. Keep in mind, I'm listing it for 10,500 as a private sale. Now, I understand the dealership is gonna have to make money and that, you know, they're in it for the profit, obviously. Otherwise, they won't be a business. And with that in mind, I'm hoping to get at least, at the, as a bare minimum, $8,700 in my hand. If I could get that number as a minimum, then I'll walk out of there with the check as opposed to walking out with my car. Now I have a pretty strong case to make if they want to try and lowball me, but at the end of the day, I know that this might not go the way I want and they might not be willing to put forth that amount of money. And if that's the case, then oh well, I'll wash it up and you know look forward to the next potential buyer. So with that being said, we're gonna clean out this car and I'll hit you guys again when we're back at the dealership. All right guys, so as you guys could probably see in the background as well as by this mask, we've now arrived at the dealership and before I head in there, I'm just reminding myself that the golden number is 8,700, 8,700 Canadian dollars. That is the minimum I'm looking for. If it's 8,500, I shouldn't take it, but fuck it, I might, but we'll see. We'll see if it even gets that high. So my prediction for what they're gonna actually offer me is $6,800. So I'm not here with the full expectation that my car is gonna be sold today, but if I had to make a guess, I would say they wanna lowball me and give me about $6,800, which is $2,000 off of what I want. I'm gonna try and work with them as much as I can, but if we can get to that number, then I'm gonna walk. And that's important sometimes uh, in situations like this. So I'll keep you guys updated. It is gonna take an hour to an hour and a half. So yeah, we'll see how it goes and I'll catch you guys there. protection corrosion protection for this car uh it was applied when i bought it i believe two years ago two years ago yeah okay and how many owners was before are you the second I'm owner? the third you, the third owner third. okay 
Any accidents on this car? No. No accidents. Okay, so the next step what we have to do, we have to go inside and fill out the uh, appraisal form for Sounds the mechanical good. inspection, okay? Sounds good. Meanwhile... Alright guys, so we're now waiting for the uh, mechanical inspection to be finished. And in the meantime, there was a KFC right across the street, so we went ahead and had us a good uh, little bit of a meal here. And um, for dessert, we have these uh, crybaby um, sour gums. And I just got through eating mine extremely sour. Uh, I wish I got to show you guys on camera, but we got the next best thing. My wife is actually gonna eat one for the camera. Okay, she doesn't like sour things. I'm okay with sour things. And even for me, <laughs> it was really sour, but let's see how she handles it. No, it's not gonna Take be the hood off, man. Moment. My mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, she recovers. <laughs> she <laughs> and she finishes that off. Um, we're just gonna keep on waiting until I get the call that the car is all done. And then I'm gonna hit you guys with the price that they hit me with. So fingers crossed, hopefully it's good, and hopefully we're walking home today. All right guys, so as you guys might be able to tell, I'm now back at the crib, and unfortunately it's with bad news. Uh, I can't say it's with unexpected news because uh, we did say earlier in the video that my prediction is that they were going to offer me $6,800, which is $2,000 short, roughly $2,900, uh, short of our minimum goal, which was eight thousand seven hundred dollars and the offer that they gave me are you guys ready? Six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, so um, It's actually six thousand five hundred, but they would have to deduct two hundred fifty to run the car through the auction uh, Which is understandable, but I was pretty close in my in my guess Unfortunately because that means that the car is still mine and now normally for car owners in this situation they would say something that maybe this is a bittersweet feeling because although they didn't get the money they were looking for at least they still have their car but unfortunately that that's not the case for me because I am fully ready to part ways with this vehicle because to me I know that that means I'll be that much closer to getting my Mustang so the fact that I still have this car means that I have a lot of work to do and I'm actually gonna try and make it my goal to get at least three thousand dollars over what the dealership offered me to kind of show you guys um, that if you're willing to put in the the extra work and the hours and sell the car yourself you know by meeting people and going through the whole process that it is worth it so let's hope I could actually achieve that goal um, but of course if anything happens with the vehicle if I find a buyer I'm gonna try and document the whole process so that you guys can kind of come along with uh, with me on this journey of you know achieving my dream vehicle so a uh, long road ahead one that I'm willing to take as long as it means that at the end of the road I'll be sitting in my very own Mustang GT so if you guys want to see more content like this if you guys enjoyed this video then go ahead and be sure to subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so that you guys could ride shotgun with me on the next video my name is Kern this is Octane Street and I'll see y'all later Peace.